Virgo in relationships. What happens if uh, someone has strong Virgo, like ascendant, sun, or moon, or uh, the relationship planets, uh, you know, Venus, you know, or some other important planets in Virgo? Well, Virgo, first of all, is a feminine sign, is the female sign, which means that they won't be so demonstrative. You know, the female signs are more within themselves, more introverted, more in. You don't, they, they're not so outward. They basically, when they experience things, they experience them within themselves. They don't show so much on the surface what's happening. So you need to look closer. You need to pay more attention. If it's a man with strong Virgo, he won't be so demonstrative that he likes you. You might have to guess. You might have to, you know, to be very observant and watch for signals. Um, you know, he might not do even the first step if it's a woman as well. This is more natural for a woman to do this anyway. Uh, but there is like, you know, this this female signs are more retrieve more, you know, more yielding, less uh, initiative, more passive. And it's an earth sign, though. So earth signs, remember what we said about earth? They take practical considerations into mind. So before they commit in relationships, you know, they, they'll judge you. They'll uh, If you check certain boxes, it's not the most romantic thing to do, but earth is practical. Earth is not like, oh, I'm so in love, I'm so in love, I'm going to leave my husband and marry this person, you know, or, you know, no. Virgo will consider, is it reasonable to do this? Am I going to be better off? Uh, who is going to benefit? Am I going to hurt people, you know? Am I going to... Uh, how will our finances be if we merge together? Is this person reliable enough? Um, of course, everyone can lose their mind occasionally. Um, or if the person has a lot of water as well, they can follow their heart instead of their practicality. But if there is strong Virgo, the person would always be a bit more hesitant to consider those practical material issues. And But earth signs are also very sensual. Even though they're not so expressive, Virgo is not so expressive on feelings because, you know, this female energy... Uh, uh, and also being ruled by the planet Mercury, which doesn't have a gender. Most planets have gender. Mercury is neuter, so it's a, like androgynous a little bit. They don't, you know, they don't show too much masculine or feminine uh, preferences or behaviors. So there is a little bit less of a, this sexually charged energy around them. So this passionate energy around them, it, it sounds more mercurial, more mental energy, as if they're thinking everything over in their head. So this kind of can detach them a little bit from their heart and from, from this animal magnetism that other signs can have. And any, anyway, Virgo is represented by a little girl. It's not even uh, a woman, you know, the original sign of Virgo is a girl, prepubescent -pu -pre girl, 11-year-old girl, something like that. So she's not developed sexually. There is no, like, it's, it's a human being, so the passions are somehow subdued. Virgos still have passions, but they'll be like, you know, they'll be overshadowed or overpowered by practical reasoning, by Mercury ruling the planet, by the person considering rational considerations, uh, making, ticking boxes. Is this right? So that's why they sometimes they have a bad rap that they don't act from their heart and that they're perfectionist and that they analyze everything. Well, they do. You know, Mercury analyzes. It's the planet of analyzing. Uh, Analysis is the planet of thinking, and we need to have such people, you know, if everyone was crazy like Pisces and jumping into falling in love, you know, and <laughs> going with the romance and following their heart, then we'd have a, we'd never have a stable marriage, <laughs> we'd never have a reasonable relationship. Uh, so this is kind of, you know, kind of stabilizing in relationship. If you're with a Virgo, if they've chosen you, if they've liked you, even though they might not have sh sh showed it initially, it might have taken them a while, you know, to to analyze, to judge. But if you've ticked their boxes, uh, usually they're, because Earth is more persevering, more dependable, they, they can be usually a bit more dependable than other signs. And, uh, <clears throat> uh, and at the same time, uh, Virgo is a uh, uh, dual, dual sign. Uh, being a dual sign, remember what we said about the dual signs, they can sometimes, if things get very hard, if things are overly difficult, they can become fickle in relationships. That's the, but Virgo would be the least fickle sign from the dual signs, from Gemini, Sagittarius, and Pisces. Virgo is the most stable of the fickle 
uh, dual signs because of its earth. Having earth makes you more dependable. But still, if things get very hard, um, and Virgo does not see, Virgo tries, accommodates the relationship changes, adapts, you know, adapts in the relationship, changes something in themselves, changes, you know, to, to suit the partner, the relationship. If it's still not working, they can adapt to another person. So they can veer off. And especially if someone, especially in the charts of men and sometimes rarely in women, if they have Venus in Virgo, this is one indication when people, they get hurt in relationships, they get disappointed in relationships because don't forget that Virgo has very high expectations, you know, they, they, they keep, hold the person, their partner to high expectations to keep ticking the boxes. Uh, they're perfectionists, this perfectionist analytical side of them, you know, for things to be good quality, to be always in perfect state. Uh, they're judgmental towards themselves as well, very critical, but they hold their partner to a high standard. So that's why they can be difficult in relationships. And if the partner keeps disappointing them and not fulfilling those high standards or not adapting to their, you know, to what Virgo stands to good standards of cleanliness or respectability or behavior, Virgo can uh, sooner or later, especially men with Venus in Virgo, uh, a strong Virgo influence can veer off to other people, to other partners. Uh, and always forgetful Virgo, what would what the Virgo partner like in others? For example, a moon, a, vi a woman with uh, Virgo f female planets, uh, and uh, uh, sorry, a, a woman with Virgo male planets, which means what men she likes, like the Sun or Mars, should like clean men, should like reliable men, practical, maybe financial consideration, should like intelligent, smart. Virgo is really smart, really witty. This is what they like. Or a man with female planets in Virgo, like Venus or the Moon. The man would like, you know, like. Uh, Women who are kind of clean, precise, neat, not too much in your face, not too much showy. If you're overly demonstrative, it can turn Virgo off. Uh, you need to be practical. You need to be organized. You know, you need to be a clean woman. You need to be, well, that sounds wrong, but like sometimes even purity can turn them on a lot. This is strange about Virgo. You know, they, they can like someone who is a little bit more even childlike for a woman, like more childish face because, you know, Virgo is the prepubescent pre girl. They can like more smaller features, more dainty, delicate looks on a person, more uh, girl-like, more childlike, you know. They can like, uh, but they, they also, the purity that uh, prepubescent girls has, I'm not saying they're pedophiles, please don't think that. <laughs> I don't want to give up this idea. Uh, it's just this a bit of innocent, a bit of... Um, uh, you know, the woman should be very clever, very smart to communicate, you know, if the man has Virgo ascendant, a Virgo sun, a Virgo moon of Venus, you know, the female planet. Um, and uh, more, you know, not too demonstrative, more organized, good organizer of home, of events, humble. Uh, if you have very strong Virgo, people who are too show off, it can put you off, you know. And the worst case scenario, they're quite critical and they have exceptionally hard ways and to, to be satisfied because they, they st hold this high standard so they can be a pain in the arse. Uh, but, um, you know, they, they, they're feminine signs, so they're usually gentle signs. They won't hurt you in a, you know, they, if they suffer, they'll suffer more within themselves. They won't hurt you so directly, you know. Um, and how do they express love? Well, if a Virgo is in love with you, a strong person with strong Virgo, they'll do practical things for you. They might uh, help you with your taxes. My partner has Virgo ascendant, so he kept giving me practical presents like uh, a USB or a suitcase, so things that I really needed and I didn't have money for when, I, when we first met. He would give me... This is how he would appreciate his love. He would come and he would say, oh, I found something to change your light bulb, or, you know. And I was like, oh, my God, what a drop. But, uh, you know... <laughs> This is how Virgo sometimes expresses love, and, and it means that they really love you if they want to do something for you. Maybe tuck you up, cook you dinner, do something practical for you, take care of you, you know. So this is what Virgos are like. Thank you very much.